my dear children today in this module we are going to study the important functions of warehousing as we know warehousing is the place where we store the various goods from the date of purchase or procurement of goods till the date of sales the different types of warehouses are private warehouses public warehouses bonded warehouses government warehouses cooperative warehouses etc the important functions of warehousing are first one storage of goods warehouse is a place where the producers store the various goods from the date of purchase till the date of sales then second function is protection of goods these warehouses helps to protect the various goods from fire theft etc then next function is risk bearing then another function is identification of goods then financing and processing receiving of goods is the important function of warehousing a warehouse accept the merchandise delivered by the transporter or an attached factory and then accepts the responsibility for the merchandise the another function of warehouse is identifying goods the appropriate stock keeping units are identified and a record made of the number of each item received the third function is sorting goods the incoming goods are sorted out for appropriate storage area in the warehouse dispatching goods to storage is the another function of warehousing the goods are kept aside when they can be found later when needed holding out goods holding goods is the another function of the warehousing the goods are kept in storage under proper protection until needed in the warehouse other different functions of warehousing are first one retrieving selecting or packaging goods items ordered by the customers are taken out from the storage and grouped in a manner useful for the next step and the function is marshaling of goods the several items making up a single order are brought together and checked for the completeness and for and order records are prepared or modified dispatching of goods under example of function of warehousing the consolidated order is packaged suitably and directed to the right transport vehicle the necessary shipping and accounting documents are also prepared the last important function of warehousing is that preparing records and advices the number of the orders received the items received and on hand etc are recorded for replenishment action and stock control and the demand and receipt data are forwarded to the center located elsewhere receiving retrieving selecting or packaging goods marshaling goods dispatching of goods preparing records and advices are the important functions of warehousing the concept of distribution warehouse or a distribution center is vastly different from the earlier concept of a garden for storage the garden is merely a dumping place gardens are maintained merely for storage of surplus goods the establishment of warehouses is ensuring a continuous and uninterrupted supply of goods warehousing and storage is an act of storing and assorting the finished goods so as to create maximum time utility at minimum cost warehouse is a place where we can store the goods from the date of purchase or procurement of goods till the date of actual sales the need for storage arises 
both for raw materials as well as finished products. Storage involves proper management for preserving goods from the time of their production or purchase till actual use. When the storage is done on a large scale and in a specified manner, it is called warehousing. Nowadays, many private firms and are turning to distribution centers rather than constructing their warehouses. The different types of warehouses are private warehouses, public warehouses, government warehouses, bonded warehouses, distribution warehouses, field, field warehouses, cooperative warehouses, etc. These are the important types of warehouses.